Hey, hi, this is the Interesting Show. I'm Olivier, your host. Uh, we are here in building uh, 25 in the green room of the Channel 9 studios. And I have Ricky with me. Hey, Ricky, how hi. are you? Good. So Ricky is uh, part of the Azure Maps team, right? And so we recently announced uh, the GA of Azure Maps. Right. And uh, it was previously called Location-Based Services. Correct. Uh, um, so. First question, for those who don't know about uh, what used to be called LBS, is called Azure Maps. What is Azure Maps? Well, Azure Maps is a, a portfolio of services and, and uh, APIs. So not only is it you know, visual maps, but there's a bunch of services behind that that need, you need to do uh, to power your uh, spatial location applications. So things like geocoding and routing and uh, traffic data and time zone data. Um, we expose all that through REST-based services. Some of those are tied into a web control or, or into other map controls. And, uh, and you can then use that to um, do spatial analysis and, and, and analysis against your own data and for data visualization. Got it. And so what are you doing in this team? Uh, so I'm a, I'm a senior program manager. Mm -hmm. And uh, so my, my primary focuses are around all map controls so, mm -hmm. uh, for both web, mobile, desktop. Uh, and also uh, the developer community is a big focus of mine as well. Okay, so I've been asked a couple of times about uh, Azure Maps before we, we dive into the, the, the few very cool uh, demos that you prepared for us. Um, I've been asked a couple of times, what is the advantage of having a, a past service for doing these kind of things versus just reaching out to an existing REST API service uh, like other ones out there? Well, uh, that's a good question. There's um, there, there's benefits to to both, but the the nice thing of having a, a one stop shop essentially mm -hmm. uh, with with Azure Maps is it, we get the, the best services that we have already on Azure. Okay. And so you get that that big benefit there. And uh, so if you already have an Azure subscription, it just makes sense. It's just it's just another service you pull in. Okay. Um, on top of that, uh, you know we, we we have a lot of experience at Microsoft when it comes to geospatial. We have a lot of partners that mm -hmm. uh, that are in that space as well, and so we're working very closely with them. And we're actually getting a lot of these partners to actually take their services and expose them through us. Okay. Uh, just because it makes a lot more sense to get everyone working together rather than what we've been doing for ages is all kind of competing against each other yeah, and yeah. everyone gets a little bit ahead and then someone else catches up and if we work together we can get a lot further. Love that. And so you came up with uh, demos that are actually for developers like right. um, you guys have been doing lots of work not only on the service but mm -hmm. also on documentation on samples on things that are useful for developers to understand how to use that service, right? right? Well, let's, let's see uh, what you have. Okay, so yeah, the first demo I wanted to show here just a real plain basic map, okay. uh, but the, uh, there's a lot more to it than what we see uh, on, on the surface. Um, the, the big one is the fact that we're using vector tile layers. Mm -hmm. So basically, uh, rather than taking down an image of the map from the internet and then loading it, and then as you zoom loading another image, uh, we're actually br uh, pulling down raw uh, data and we're actually rendering the data locally rather than an image. Okay. And so by doing that, uh, you know, the view of the map that we see here takes up a lot less data doing that way, so we can actually load the maps a lot faster. Uh -huh. Plus, as we're waiting for the data to download, we can actually go through and render the lower resolution that we have today, or at, the, at this moment, mm -hmm. uh, and keep uh, uh, modifying it as you zoom in. So if we take a look here at this, uh, here, as I zoom in, you can see it's nice and fluid. Nice. And you know we don't see the flashing of tiles appearing and disappearing. Okay, uh, it's just it's all there. Got um, it. Before you jump to another one, yeah. so what is that environment you're actually showing that sample? Is it something that actually is going to be available to everyone? Yes. So this here is the the, the most basic part of the whole, whole platform. Yeah. Uh, is the, the yeah the basic map control? You can overlay all types of di uh, yeah. data on top of it. Okay. Uh, okay. That, oh, actually, what I was saying is like you have this con the, the oh. thing called Azure Maps code samples, yeah. right? So th that environment to me is like yeah the, the map. I get it. The mm -hmm. what I'm looking at is actually it seems like you have all the samples regrouped somewhere. That right. people can start playing with it. Yeah. So this is a, the yeah, right now I'm, I'm running it locally, but this is something uh, we're, we're planning to, to make available to developers. Uh, essentially, it started off with when I when I joined the team and uh, you know we're building the control. I yeah. wanted to build samples to figure out how okay. how Fair does enough. it work? Does it make sense? Mm -hmm. And so as people ask questions, we'll continue adding samples to this and just make them available. Awesome. Um, in addition to flat 2D maps, uh, you can also uh, change the, uh, well, we can rotate it, we can change the pitch, oh and you can also notice that, you know, the, uh, you see the Seattle label is always facing towards you in the proper way because okay. we're using vector data. 
Okay. Another cool um, feature is so we have traffic data. And so the traffic data, we, there's two different types. There's the, the overlay that we see here, which is the color coded roads. Mm -hmm. uh, but then there's also incident data, which is the little push pins on there. So like things like road closures and, and, uh, and okay. traffic jams and things like that. And the very useful information, mm -hmm. the traffic data is updated every two minutes. Uh, it's a super nice. high resolution uh, traffic data. And not only do we use it for rendering and for point data, but we also use it in our traffic, our, our routing service. So for uh, tra predictive tra uh, routing and also real time routing. Got it. And as we were saying before, mm -hmm. it's one stop shop. Everything is in the box, right? right. So you don't have to go shop for a uh, traffic service and right. then try and, 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 and put that on your map right. from another service. Everything mm -hmm. is in the same place. Yeah. So yeah, another thing I wanted to show you is, so, you know, this is great for pulling in other people's data, but what about your own data? Yep. You know, and some of our customers have large data needs or large data sets. So this is just to kind of show you the performance. We're running this in, in a browser okay. in Edge. Okay. Uh, 167,000 plus uh, shapes on the map. <laughs> so it's a bit of a blob <laughs> at the moment. Uh, so 140 megabytes is the, the raw data when it's in GeoJSON format, which is a okay. standard format. Okay. Uh, but yet, um, if we get a uh, focus on the map, we can see just how smooth it is. Wow, nice. And so that was the zooming, the panning, and uh, you know, it's just, uh, all nice and fluid. Um, we, in addition to that, uh, we also have nice fast mouse events. So you, usually that, that would be a problem where you, yep. you're running that much data, you'd have to probably be an image and yep. you do a server. We're doing this all in WebGL, so it's all local. So we're able to get nice fast mouse interactions with that. We don't have to call any backend service. And that's also a nice security feature as well where your, mm -hmm. This data here didn't leave my computer. No mm. one else uh, like could it. even sniff the data out. <laughs> Got it. Okay, makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, awesome. Yeah. What's next? So the, like you're getting me excited. Yeah, here. Yeah, all right. So one of the nice <laughs> things. So you know, you, you, you've seen what you know a, a brief intro into what it can do. Mm -hmm. Now you want to go and do it. So now you need the documentation. So if yep. we take a look at the documentation, you'll see that not only do we have text, but we also have interactive code samples. So okay. you can go through here. You see the code. You see the map. Um, we're using CodePen to help you out, but if you wanted to edit this, you just simply edit it right in the docs, uh -huh. and it'll go through and update the, the sample. So there we go, we just changed the zoom level to one, and, uh, and now you get instant feedback on, all right, so if I did this, what happens? So that's basically your, your test bench for your code against right. Azure Maps. Right, yeah, and so yeah, this is essentially what I, I, the way I see this as, as a developer is when I'm getting started, I go through the docs, I try out these uh, interactive code samples, mm -hmm. and now I need more deeper code samples, and that's when I'll switch over to that other project I just showed you, where some of those samples in the other project, they could be any length, so if there's a really hard scenario yep. that takes yep. thousands of lines of code, you're probably better off putting that there than having yep. that in the documentation. Yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, like, definitely, as you were saying, it's a like multi-step process. You learn about the feature, you get the basics right. of the code and, and the service, and then you jump into the the more complex ones. Awesome, that's awesome. Well, I'm sure you're gonna get back with even more. Uh, we, 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 uh, we have a fantastic service here that serves developers. And as you can see, lots of docs, lots of samples. Uh, and well, let us know what you think. Thanks guys, thanks Ricky. Thank Talk you. to you soon. <laughs>